Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our online class, where today we're going to be making these adorable cards using the Stampin' Up! The Gangs All Mirror stamp set, which is a meerkat stamp set. I love those little meerkats. They're just so adorable. And I'm going to show you how to do these silhouettes and how to make all different landscapes, and you can use them for all different occasions. Really uh, beautiful cards, and they're fun uh, sponging techniques, really easy sponging techniques. So I hope that you're going to like some of the things that we're going to share today. Uh, that meerkat stamp set is part of Stampin' Up! Celebration promotion, which means you can earn it free. Um, during celebration when you place an order in my online store a qualifying order so this one a $50 order and you can get this free um, and there's a bunch of other things available during celebration which means that um, you could get other stuff as well uh, I have all of it listed on my blog and you can click on the link in the resource page or just go to stampwithtammy.com it is also a great time to join if you have a big wish list of products because you get all kinds of free stuff you get a uh, $125 worth of product. You only pay $99, so it's $26 free and free shipping, which is always, you always get that with a demo, demo kit. It's always that great deal. But now, until the end of the month, you can get a free stamp set of your choice. You can get the free mini paper cutter while they last. Those might sell out before the promotion sells out. And the same with the paper, the free paper assortment. So jump on it. Don't wait until the last minute. You may be disappointed. <laughs> Anyhow, so uh, excited about that, excited about celebration. But like I said, this does end on March 31st. Even if um, these products don't sell out, they will be at celebration ends on March 31st either way. Uh, speaking of celebration, oh my God, do you guys love the ladybug? All right, so everybody's, everybody's going goo goo gaga over this. And with good reason, because she's flipping adorable and she's also very very hard to get she's a special edition stamp set only available during celebration only available with Stampin' Rewards uh, it's, it's kind of like a celebration Stampin' Rewards combination free thing and uh, you get it w when orders reach a $300 um, and you still get free stuff with that you get free celebration sets with that you get free Stampin' Rewards um, but you, you either if you're a hostess of a workshop a class an, an an online class, combination of friends, your own, demonstrators, everybody, doesn't matter. Anywho, so because she's kind of hard to get, I actually have two of these that I'm going to be giving away. All you need to do is leave a comment here on this video to enter. I'll draw one live and I will draw one um, immediately following this video. And one more thing that I wanted to, um, don't want anybody to, to miss out on is today is the final day of um, the March Paper Pumpkin a subscription period which means after today you will no longer be able to subscribe for the March kit and the March kit is going to be awesome we get this really cute box but on top of that it's the seven year anniversary of Paper Pumpkin and so Stampin' Up! is also including a free stamp set with every kit so that's pretty awesome um, and I cannot wait to get mine so you know when I do I'll jump right on here and play with it and, and we'll be playing with it a couple of times we'll make what's in there and then later on we'll make alternate projects just so you know and uh, that is the deal, but it is the 10th of, today is the 10th of the month, and that is the deadline. So starting tomorrow, the subscription period will be for April. All right, so let's pop down on the table and take a look at what we're going to be creating today. Um, I, I love this. I've always, since the, the celebration was announced and, and the meerkats were you know, the first time I ever saw the meerkats were at a Stampin' Up! event. And I was like, oh my heart, stop it. They're so adorable. And so um, at the end of this class, when I'm done, I have a bunch of ideas to share with you with the, the meerkat set. This is the meerkat set here. As you can see, it is an outline um, drawing. Uh, the images are outline drawings. And, and we're going to make silhouettes out of them today. So kind of cool. And we're going to make all different landscapes sunset moon rise it is a full moon last night right did you guys see that so we're going to make that full moon here and then i'm going to show you how to, i made these clouds and other cool things i have a bonus uh the gang's all mirror stamp set that i'm going to give away live if you leave a comment here um if you're watching the live on facebook you will be entered to win a ladybug stamp set or this gang's all mirror so there's two bonus i didn't have that one in the actual write-up sorry so um as always I have a free PDF here that has all of the measurements and all of the information on everything that we are creating today. And you can get this on my blog resource page simply by clicking on the link in this video's description. 
and all of the colors that I'm using here. If you miss one, um, you can you can always go back and rewatch the video. You can take some notes down below. I have a smart code here that will bring you back to this video on the resource page, which we're creating right now. There's also a link to do that as well. We're going to start with the sunset, and this was um, one of the artisans, and I and I have her. I'm sorry, her name is escaping me. I, I apologize, but I do have it on the um the write-up on the resource page had done something similar to this and I was so inspired by it I couldn't wait to make one. So what we're going to do here in the first card I'm going to use sponge daubers. So we'll be doing a several different types of sponging and some sponging techniques. Lots of sponges today. I'm going to bring in our color palette for this card is going to be pineapple punch, daffodil, I'm sorry, mango melody, and uh, poppy puree. And I'm going to ink this up with, I'm using Stays On today, Stays On ink. This is a permanent ink. And the reason why is because the last card, we're going to actually um, get it wet and the permanent ink doesn't run. So since it has no sense using two different black end pads, we can just use the one. And I'm going to put you this right in the middle. I, I'll, I'll place them differently on different cards just to show different ways, but this one I'm going to do right in the middle. So he's, that's my placement. I, I stamped that first for placement. And uh, from here, I'm going to take the two and a quarter inch circle punch. And I take a sticky note. So just a, this is a regular post-it note. I've got a little sticky part up there. I'm going to slide it into this. We're going to make a mask out of the sticky note. Now for the sun, I did the largest of the, the circle punches. And we're just going to place that right in the middle there. And then we'll start. So I'm going to start, and it's totally your preference, whether you want to start with a darker work in or work with a, the lighter working out. But I personally like to start with the lightest and work out and then blend them. Kind of like we do with the blender pens, sort of, but with sponge daubers. So here, I'm taking the Daffodil Delight and just rubbing the first coat. So I want the lightest right around the sun, right? So it's going to get the, the sun as it gets away from the sun is going to turn different beautiful colors. Oh, thanks, Linda. So these are wild cards. I, I love them. I, I'm a big fan of, of, of the, the, these remind me of sunsets. And if you, if anybody, if you guys know me, you know, I love photography and I love landscapes. And so this and sunsets and skies, I'm just fascinated with it. And I love to photograph them. And so this kind of reminds me of that. All right. So now I'm working into the mango, which is, uh, you know, darker, a little darker color. And we're going to work that around. We're all going to be lefties today. You guys knew you always wanted to be a lefty, right? Aren't <laughs> you righties? I always wanted that moment when you're going to be a lefty. All right, so we're going to work that in just a little bit. I like to go back and blend right away. This is totally your preference, but I'm taking that pineapple punch and blending that line where the two come together. And if you see any little marks there, just keep blending until they disappear, like so. Now for the edge, we're going to take some Poppy Parade. I'm just going to... Work that in there, nice and dark. <laughs> Debbie says, finally, lefties in charge. Always on my uh, on my channel. <laughs> lefties are always in charge on my channel. I'll do a little bit at the top. And the bottom doesn't really matter if it's on the bottom or not. But I want this to be darker. I feel like my poppy parade is just about ready to be re-inked. I think it's just about needing that. So I'm going to put an extra coat on there just to um, get that, you know, get it a little bit darker color. And then I'm going to go back with that mango and blend that line where the, the poppy and the mango meet. And I'm using uh, the mango ink to do that. All right, so I apologize. Someone's trying to FaceTime me. I'm half tempted to answer it <laughs> and put them on the video. <laughs> especially since they know I'm doing a video right now. Sometimes people, you know, like they don't realize what time it is. Don't they 
No, it's it's playtime. So, I, and I just keep blending here until you get the look you like with the, the colors. All right, so this is, I, I'm very happy with this one. So I am ready to take off our mask for the sun. And that is how we get the sun. Next up, we are going to make our silhouette, make our meerkats a silhouette. And for that, we are using the uh, Stampin' Write journal. This is a journaling, it's a basic black journal pen. And then I am just going to color in between the lines, all of the meerkats. It's that simple. And then when we're done coloring in the meerkats, we can mount that on a piece of Whisper White and stamp this, the words to this, if you can, if you dream it, you can do it, come from the stargazing stamp set. I also used this one on the last card we're going to make, the stargazing stamp set. I love it and I love the sayings in it because I feel like they're very inspirational. So next up, and I did cut this panel with the rectangle, um, the stitched rectangle dies. It's the second largest. I put that on the free PDF on the resource page, just so you know. I also put measurements there in case you didn't have the large, in case you didn't have the rectangle dies. All right, so next up, we're gonna do another simple. This is another simple one. This is, uh, I made this into a sympathy, and this actually uses the uh, words from the, the meerkat set, we're here for you. So, same exact measurements on all of these. Gonna go ahead and stamp this. This time, I wanna stamp meerkats a little bit to the left. No particular reason, I just kinda like shaking it up a little bit and just showing the different things that you can do. All right, so now I'm gonna stamp the words last. I'm gonna go ahead and work. So this one, I've got crumb cake and we've got a little bit of seaside spray and then I used a little bit of Pacific Point with the seaside spray. So that again this one's just a basic similar to what we just did but different colors and we're making a beach scene this time so taking the crumb cake get our little beach on I, on the original, I also used a touch of the soft suede to make that a little bit darker, but we'll just go ahead with the lighter today. And then for the sky, I'm going to start with my seaside spray. I'll try to make sure that I hold this out here so you guys can see it okay. I didn't touch. I didn't touch the two on this one. I kind of left a little bit of white space in the middle for this one. On this one, I liked this one for a little bit of a sympathy card. You know what I thought would look really cool? And I hope one of you does this and posts it for me on my Facebook page so I can see it. Um, what I thought would be really cute would be um, using the umbrella, the under my umbrella, and making that like an umbrella set. And, you know, like a raindrops, the umbrella over. But I just ran out of time. And I do not have a specific point dauber so I'm just gonna improvise here just to make that just to give it a little pop on the top there and then just blend in some seaside spray so that's how and again just a little bit of white space and then colored in the meerkats there and then the dots see the dots down here on the bottom I actually um, kind of used that same idea and just carry that over. Oops, it's not cooperating with me right now, but you get the idea. Carry that over to the edge. Colored in the meerkats. Yeah, who would have thought you could use meerkats for a sympathy card? True story. And then when you color them in, you get this nice. And I did take some soft suede around the bottom of that one to make it a little bit pop it a little bit darker. Now, very similar to that one, but with a neat technique is this one. 
and this one I used I did not use the Pacific point on this one I just I went a little bit lighter so I just did the crumb cake and the soft suede give me one second I always love when I start throwing things on the ground it means we're having a good time right <laughs> Now on this one, I'm gonna stamp, I, I stamp these guys a little bit to the left on this one as well. And then oh, very similar, just make that, that sand with the crumb cake. Again, I, I wanted this one to be a little bit lighter. Can you guys see that okay? Sometimes when I'm a lefty, I cover. In, unintentionally cover what I'm doing and then makes it hard for you guys to see it. And I always do the I, I always do the silhouette part last, the coloring in of the meerkats. And the reason for that is I don't want it to 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 run or bleed when I you know rub over it. And the next card we do, you'll really see that. All right, so now I'm going to take the scallop tag puncher. So can you guys see that cool? scalloped topper okay so I'm, I just took a two two inch strip of paper and put it in there and punch that out this is going to become our cloud but I want to cover this hole because I don't I don't want anything coming out of that so I'm going to take a little scrap of post you just to cover that hole and now we're going to take that seaside spray And I'm doing this really light and I'm moving it around randomly. There is no, like you don't want it to be too um, uniform. Let's see how the clouds are forming here. And then you can leave them white, or in this case, I colored them just a little bit to give them a little bit of color in there. And blend it in. So totally up to you whether you like them white or whether you like them colored in, but that's how I got the clouds. Super easy, right? Just scallop tag puncher, just sponge just right over the, the edge there, and it gives you a really cool sky. All right, now for the last one, and we'll just color that one in, and we will get our, our finished product. For the very last card, now this one, oh, we're going to have some fun. This one uses a few different techniques. I'm gonna show you, we're gonna make a cool night night sky here. We're gonna do some heat embossing too. And I'm gonna show you how I made this moon and how it looks like it's got craters in it. Cause you know, a full moon like this morning, that sucker had craters in it, right? <laughs> All right, so it did too, it was beautiful. Go ahead and stamp our meerkats. And again, I did stamp these to the left a little bit cause I wanted to, this time I stamped them to the left because I wanted to leave some room for the words. The, the words of the set came from that stargazing set. It's this one. And um, they take up a little bit of space here. So that's the reason why I stamped it a little bit to the left this time. And you definitely want stays on ink for this if you do this technique, the techniques that I'm doing on this card. The other ones, you could use Memento if you wanted to, but this particular one, you definitely want the, the stays on. You don't want it to run. It's permanent. And we're going to put some water on this in a minute. So I've got Knight of Navy, Pacific Point, and Rich Razzleberry. And I am switching over now to actual sponge. I took a sponge and just cut it into quarters. So I'm switching over to the actual sponges here. And I'm going to take and randomly actually before we randomly sponge we're gonna we're gonna want to make that moon right so the same way we made the sun except i used a slightly smaller punch this time it's the two inch circle punch almost forgot the moon that's like the most important part don't throw this part away we're going to be using that so i want to make sure that the moon is covering um, quite a bit of the, the meerkats. 
All right, now, <laughs> now we are gonna start our sponging. And I really kind of went randomly. It doesn't matter what color you start with, but I wanted a little bit of color. It's like a, right after the blue hour here, we've got a little bit of purple. Maybe you're somewhere up north and you've got northern lights. Maybe you wanna add some green in. Um, so very, very random kind of spot, spotting here. Now I'm taking some Pacific Point, just dip and rub there. Dip and rub, dip and rub. <laughs> Can make a song out of that, right? And then we're gonna take the Knight of Navy and that's gonna go around the edges. I wanted that look deep dark around the edges. So the Pacific Point and the Rich Razzleberry were kind of randomly all over the card, but the, the Knight of Navy darkest color I put on the edges and then I kind of went over everything with that Knight of Navy. So you can kind of see it behind the Knight of Navy, but the Knight of Navy darkens everything, making it more of a night sky look. Okay, so now the next step and the reason why we wanted that stays on waterproof ink an extra thing down here. I've got a, uh, color, a spritzer here. This is filled with water, just regular water. I am holding, uh, I don't know, eight or nine inches, uh, but I'm also holding down that sticky note because I don't want any water to get underneath it. I did find it, it would bleed underneath it a little bit, so don't over spritz it, but but get the, do you want me to zoom in a little bit so you can see? And I want this to be very dry before I start the next technique. So I'm taking the heat tool and just giving it a little extra there to dry it. Make sure that that's really dry. And you can see that we went over the, the Pacific Point in the Rich Razzleberry with the Knight of Navy. But after we spritzed it, you could see the color pop through in the little dots. And then we can remove gently that posty note. And we've got our area where the moon is going to go. All right, so that's the first phase. Now, we're going to do our moon next. And I'm going to pull in where we punched that circle out. And I said, save that. The reason why is because I found that if this background was wet, and then I went to do the moon, which we're gonna do similar to how we did that. But when I went to do the moon, it would bleed. The moon would bleed and I'll show you what I mean by that. I actually saved, somewhere I saved it. <sighs> Figures I lost it. Well, when I find it again, I'll show you. But the moon actually bled into the um, into the background. And, and so in order to prevent that, let's put the sticky note over here. And then just make sure I have another sticky in the spritzing area. And then we're gonna Bring in, let's see, Mango Melody. I wanted the mango. And I got the sponge dauber back, but you could use the regular sponge here. You could use the regular sponge on any of the uh, these cards or the sponge daubers. You can go either way, but I preferred um, with this technique that we're doing, the background to be sponges. And I don't know, when I'm masking a small area, I like the... The sponge dauber. Okay, so now we're going to make craters. <laughs> you can flick water in your hand too, so yes, that works. It does have a little bit of a different look though. The splatter effect from the spritzer really makes it look like there's a ton of stars in the sky. And now I'm going to spritz this moon again, kind of holding that posty note down. This is what's going to create the craters. I just don't want it to bleed, so I want to make sure that that's on there good. And then again, I'm going to dry it with the, the heat tool just before I pull that off so that the colors don't bleed together. And that's creating our craters. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks pretty, pretty darn cool. <laughs> and that's what makes it a moon instead of a sun like we had in the first card. We had a sun, right? You guys see the, see the craters in there and you can see the splatter on the night sky that really makes it look like it's full of stars. All right, 
So the next step, again, make sure that this is really, really dry before we move into the next step because we're going to heat emboss, and if things aren't completely dry, the embossed powder might stick where we don't want it. So I'm just going to give it an extra little drying time. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and do some heat embossing. So for that, I am taking the words from the Stargazing stamp set. I thank my lucky stars for you. And we are going to do first a mark. And before we do anything, and this is especially important on this particular card because, again, you don't, if it's any dampness or anything under there, you don't want that powder sticking. So I'm going to rub the embossing buddy over there. I call this, if you forget it, you will regret it step. And we're going to take the Versamark and stamp. And this, I'm going to use some uh, white stamping embossed powder, which is going to just pop right off this background. Yes, adhesive will flatten this out. All right, so we're going to pour that on there. This is Whisper White. Um, cardstock by the way and um, for some of the stuff that we're doing here that matters especially the embossing after we've wet it so we've we've kind of you know we've kind of done a few different techniques on this already um, and when you layer like that if you have cheap cardstock it's going to um, it's it's, it's going to rip but it's also going to get like um, pilly it does matter and in, in this particular case it really matters <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and heat emboss those words. I feel like I'm missing a tiny little bit here. I mean, it looks okay, but the four, see the, the F? I feel like that needs. There we go. Oh, much better, I got it. I guess I'll, I'll keep it, try to keep it in view. I'm going to hold that up so you guys can see. And I thank my lucky stars for you. And I do. I mean that. You guys are the bomb. <laughs> okay. Uh, media as you're asking how we flatten it out uh, adhesive will flatten it out just we'll get there we'll get there let's finish up with our um, meerkats and again we're gonna color in the meerkats I'm just gonna I'm actually gonna do them all on this one because then I'll show you how I did the bottom the ground so that they're all silhouetted in the moonlight of the full moon which just happened last night which means tonight it's gonna look awfully full too it's a worm moon is what they called it. The worm moon I saw um, on the internet. I don't know what that means. <laughs> worm moon. <laughs> but I know last night I saw that moon come up and it was just bright pink. It was so beautiful when it was rising. It almost made me want to turn the color of this moon pink. Which I suppose you could do, right? You could make it any color we want. And this is the black Stampin' Right marker that we're we're coloring in here. You can actually um, buy the black marker on its own. Like most of the colors come in sets, but the black marker you can get on its own. Oh, Terry, thanks. She said, according to the weather the other night, it's because the earthworms become more active because it's getting warmer, and that's why they call it the, 
the warm moon. That's very interesting. Thank you for that. I did wonder. I didn't look it up, but I did wonder. I was like, that's an odd name. We got our last little guy here. All right, now for the ground, I went ahead and took this marker. Oh, thank you, Kathy. And I'm gonna outline where the ground is on the stamp. And then I am gonna go ahead and, do you see I made it bumpy so it wasn't quite straight? I did that on purpose. And then we're just gonna color that just like we did the meerkats. I find the slower you go, the more layers you, I mean, the, the less layers you have to put on and the faster you go, like I'm going pretty fast right here, but it's not laying down as much ink, which means I need to put another layer on. So you just keep layering that on. If I went really slow like this, I wouldn't need as many layers. And I kind of went left to right, and then I went up and down for the second layer to cover up any lines that were in there. It goes so super fast too. I mean, look how fast that went on all the techniques we just did on this card. And then as these guys fill, I'm just going over any extra pieces and that's it. Our card is complete. Now, a lot of you are asking, how do you flatten this out? Because we did just do a lot to this card. Um, in fact, you know what, before we flatten it out, do you want to do, now yeah, let's, we, we'll do one more thing on here because why not? We're just doing a lot of cool techniques and don't forget, I've got more cards to share. Okay. So I took some rubbing, this is a different spritzer, took some rubbing alcohol and put it in there and then, uh, shook up that champagne shimmer mist, just literally poured a couple of drops in there. No measurements on my, my side, shake it up in here and spritz that over the top because why not? we I mean, we have made this. <laughs> We've already made this really, you know, like really, really uh, layered here. So that is going to give us, and that is really hard to see, really hard to see. Um, let me see if I can, I might want to pour some more in there. It's going to give it, make it sparkle. So we're going to have sparkly, sparkly uh, clouds in the sky. And you'll also see by doing this last step that's already flattening out. But even if you don't do it, I'm going to show you how to flatten it out. Okay. So now we have sparkly stars in the sky. And I'm going to use the heat tool again because I just want that to be dry when I put the adhesive on it. But now you can see the sparkle in it. Can you guys see that? It is just shimmery. And then literally we're just going to attach this. All right, so if you didn't do that last step or you find that you've got a little bit of uh, warping like I had after I did the, uh, the spritzing, when you put your adhesive on here, make sure you go all the way to the very edges. Actually a silicone mat probably would have been a good idea to, to use there because when you, use the silicone you can go right off the edge and it doesn't stick to the silicone okay and then let's go ahead and put this on here you think this is your favorite thank you oh you made my day i don't do a very good job cutting the, the border on this one but you guys get the idea right got a little bit of adhesive off the edge there I did a terrible job on that border. Oh my gosh. I might not even use that border at all. Look at that. And then I was just going to stick it onto the card base with um, Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm going to remount this. I don't know if I can take it off now. I'll take it off after the video. But when we're done, ta-da, this is what it looks like. And you saw how quick that went, right? So, I mean, it, there was a lot of layers on that, but it went so fast. And it's just so many cool techniques in one card there. And so that completes the set of silhouette cards and the different techniques that I use. But wait, don't run away because I have 
more to share with you. I've got a bunch of ideas here from this Meerkat stamp set. And this is the Gangs All Mirror set. It's a celebration set uh, 2020 from Stampin' Up. And it's only available to the end of this month. And it's only available free. We hate that, right? We hate free stuff. I'm joking. And uh, you can get it free when you place a $50 order in my online store during celebration. All right, so here's just a couple more ideas uh, with that Gangs All Mirror stamp set. I mean, everybody's going to be in love with Meerkats. I, I just, they're just so adorable. Now, this is one I made. I posted this one on my blog. This uses the Capture the Good stamp set, which is absolutely my favorite stamp set. And I might be biased because I did help design that stamp set for stamping up <laughs> the camera because I love photography. So it just kind of melded my two loves together. But I have more idea. You can type in Gangs All Mirror in the search of stampwithtammy.com and come up with, you'll see some of these ideas there too. You click on the resource page and you'll see what we just made. Um, here's another one. Look at this one. Looks like it's in the in the picture frame here. One more really cute one here. There's a cacti, cactus, cactus, cacti, cactus. It's single, so cactus. Uh, stamp in the set, and then she used that one to stamp the border. And there's another one. And this one, adorable. Look at that little hat little hat on the meerkat and here's another one that has a little hat on the meerkat little party party and meerkats it's so cute <laughs> and this last one is a flip it's a flipper how cute is that right flip boom it says happy birthday to a stand-up friend and if you are wondering how to make this flipper card i actually have a um an online class showing you how to make it it's um they're called flip cards and uh, if you type that into or go to my stampwithtammy.com and go to the video page or type in flip card in the search box, you will come up with that. All right. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed these cards. I really enjoyed making them on this class today. And uh, I hope you got some great ideas. I will be back um, Friday with another online class. Thanks for joining me.